Hi! This week I wanted to uh, do something a little bit different. I know I haven't had a lot on my channel at all, so even by saying something a little bit different it's kind of besides the point. But um, I am here uh, today with um, a mystery box from Witchy Vintage. Um, I purchased two boxes from Paula. Um, she's uh, great. She's got so many fun witchy gothic things and uh, she offered mystery boxes um, a couple weeks ago and I purchased two. There was uh, one that was up until 1920s and then one to the 1880s I believe. So I purchased one of each. Um, and I figured I would unbox one of them today and uh, see all the goodies that are that are in here. Um, I am a huge, huge sucker for mystery boxes just because it's just fun not knowing what you're going to get. Um, I'm a little nervous though because uh, Paula's style is a little bit different than mine. So the, in the box it comes with um, an antique or a vintage dress, a photograph, um, an accessory, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like the accessory, but we'll see. Um, she always throws in a lot of really fun little extras, so uh, I'm excited to see what she has put in this box. Um, crafted, curated, little vintage, antique um, box. I'm, yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, let's get to it. But. First things first, McCall's 1925. I, um, oh, I'm so excited because I love the 20s and I love looking through 1920s magazines or even like before that. Um, I feel like a lot of the, the, the magazines that I have um, are not that exciting. So this is, oh my gosh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the fashions from this decade. Um, cat, so sad. Oh, look at that. I love that horse. I love it. So, so cool. Every bean hand selected Heinz baked beans. Those poor girls. Oh my gosh. There's a ice box refrigerator. I wonder I guess if refrigerators came in, in in the nineteen late nineteen twenties, early nineteen thirties. Um I wonder if this was actually one that uh, you, you plugged in. Um. <gasps> Ooh, fashions. Women in their jackets and written notes. 
That is so cute. I wonder if I can make something like that. <laughs> oh, I love that. 1920s clothes are so great. I mean, they don't look good on everybody, but they always look good on these models. I really like that one as well. Lovely spring fashions evening gown. So cute. <laughs> Youthfully simple and individually smart. Jumper dress. Ugh, oh, cute. There's one for a Bonton corset. I don't know if you can see it. Um, tall, average, slender, and stout. There's a Bonton model for every figure. Little kids' clothes. Anyways, um, so, such a super fun find. Super fun. All right, so next things next. Let me, um, you know, I think I might show you with my, my phone because that might be easier. There's just so many cute little goodies in here. We've got, um, some little, uh, it's a little collar, um, potentially from like a 1920s or earlier dress. A um, few little extra pieces, really cute. Not sure what I'll do with this yet. Um, maybe wrap some packages, uh, use it as some, some bunting. It's not something that I would add to a garment or anything like that, but super, super fun. There's a, um, a few other, there's a few other cute little gifties in here. So an adorable little tin type, a little girl. Um, I, judging, I can't quite tell what this little girl's outfit, where, where, when am I date to? I'm not very good, not very good at dating children's stuff. So, um, maybe somebody else can figure that out. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. It's a little silver brush. I don't, can you actually even see that? Wow, this, uh, this is definitely horsehair, a little horsehair brush. It's really, really cool. So you know what this is actually um, would be really, really perfect for? Um, I have three cats and um, I always notoriously have cat hair all over me no matter how many times i lint roll i always end up getting cat hair on me so this will be um, actually really perfect for trying to get some of the extra lint off um, just before i leave for work so i always try and steal my husband's um, little brush and uh, it gets very dirty very quickly so this will be perfect for me Yay. got a little uh, wrapped box here. Oh wow. It's very, very unique. Um, it is a stock pin or um, not stock pin, a um, kind of like a bar pin. Um, they were worn throughout the 1880s, 70s and 80s um, on high collars. 
Um, this is really, really quite gorgeous. The filigrees uh, decorations are, are pretty darn all amazing. Okay, camera, you are not. There we go. <sighs> Don't have anything else. I'm sorry. It's great, Paula. I love it. Okay. Moving on. Oh, oh, oh. I'm already already uh, in love with this. Um, so one of her things was to to have at least. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. So this is um, a really amazing uh, wool um, coat or bodice. Um, I think it's a... I'm not actually sure what it is. There's also a skirt, a petticoat, a black petticoat, cotton, black cotton petticoat with a blue waistband. This is actually perfect because I do a lot of mannequin dressing and um, so having um, extra petticoats for that, um, just to fill out, fill out skirts um, so I don't have to actually make them myself. It's uh, you know, very period correct, so that's, this is perfect, amazing, great. There's a little um, piece of lace, which looks like, oh, it's actually a lace top. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Um, so this looks like it could be from the 20s or um, 30s even, maybe, um, wearing over like a another sort of um, slip or... Um, uh, some a, a longer dress just to, to add a little bit of detail. So that's actually really really beautiful I don't know if you can see the lace at all Absolutely gorgeous And there's also um, a pair of pantaloons um, drawers if you will. Um, these are really, really awesome because um, they probably date to the um, 1860s to 1880s. 1880s is when uh, combinations started coming in where you have your, your chemise, um, your corset cover, your, your chemise, your, and, um, your, your underwear sort of attached, um, 1880s and 1890s. Um, so this is before that, but I think someone has added, um, added this lace because if you look, if you look, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it with me. So if you look, there's definitely the, the hem, which is hand um, stitched, and then you have the added um, machine stitched uh, piece in there afterwards. Um, yeah, this is really, really cute. Set. All in all, I think it was worth it. It was, it's pretty fun. I just love mystery boxes because it's just the fun of the, the thrill, the surprise. Um, and then this, this little jacket um, piece is just so cute. I need to look at it. It's got hook and eyes um, along the front. And I'm guessing this is, I'm guessing this is the front because um, there's not a lot of definition on this side. And I don't think someone will wear the, a collar quite like that. So yeah really really cool anyways I might try and do a little more research on this but uh super fun thanks for watching and i will see you next week um so it looks like this was the 19 up to the 1920s box so the next one i think i will um is probably going to be the 18 up to the 1880s box so um yeah stay tuned for that and i'll see you next time bye